Good morning. I'm Linda Seeley from Mothers for Peace. I wanted to comment about the CIS, uh, first of all. I want to let you know that Mothers for Peace is opposed to CIS. And the reasons are, we have good reasons for being opposed to it. Number one, you talk about, um, uh, Dr. Pedersen, you talked about moving the canisters out um, <clears throat> away from Diablo if there are, um, you said, quote, move it earlier so you don't need to deal with that risk. Unfortunately, these canisters are the same canisters that are going to be going to a CIS site. They are not different. And if there is a risk, then what we have at a CIS site that is located in probably New Mexico in a very impoverished area where they have exactly one congressional representative to represent the entire population, it's very poor. They're, I mean, it's a... It's a place where nobody lives, except... There's no place that nobody lives. <laughs> right. Everybody <laughs> lives there, really. Because when we have, when you start uh, aggregating uh, canisters from various sites, and these canisters are not able to be inspected, they're not able to be maintained, um, that it's... You know, he, Mr. Strickland talked about how they're working on being able to inspect them. They're not able to inspect them now. And yet we have this kind of um, faith that, well, let's get them out of here, but they'll be okay over there. If they're not okay here, they're not going to be okay over there, especially after the 125-ton massive thing has traveled over railroads has been lifted, put down, lifted, put down, stopped, rattled, shaken, all that. That is not good for those things. That doesn't help them. It hurts them. What Mothers for Peace wants, what we think is the most sensible um, solution, I mean, there is no solution to this terrible problem, <clears throat> what we think is the most ethical, the most responsible, um, and the smartest decision is to keep those things right here. Where, because this is California. California has a lot of political power. They, are, they will be watched. They will be cared about. You take a, a, a canister and you put it out in the middle of the desert, nobody's going to care about it. They'll say, oh, it's away. We don't care about it anymore. If we have it right here, then what we need to do is we need to build a facility to put these things into, like they have in Germany. I'm sure you all know what they do in Germany, inside these bunkered buildings where they maintain a constant temperature. <laughs> they have 24-hour-a-day radiation monitoring, <clears throat> and they keep their eye on them. You can't neglect, it's like having a big, horrible baby, basically, is what I always equate it to. Like a, a hideous baby that can't take care of itself, and yet it's a very dangerous thing. And we are responsible for taking care of this baby, or all of these babies. That's all I'll say about CIS. You'll be hearing a lot more from us about CIS because, and we want Haas, we want hardened on-site storage, we want all of this to actually happen. And we want Diablo Canyon to be the model site for it. And we know that PG&E is very interested in keeping our community safe, and we know that they are, they've worked with our community very strongly in uh, you know, this joint proposal and making it be good for the community as well as good for PG&E. This is the next phase that we have to go into, and we are very committed to that. So we're not giving up on that. Um, oh, okay, I, I'm not going to ask I'm going to submit a list of questions to you that are just technical questions about um, 
you know, well, well, I, I just have to make one more comment, though, about Mr. Strickland saying that um, there, there are going to be these remedial actions that they can take, <clears throat> excuse me, with these canisters. They don't, you know, there, there was that one that had the conditions for cracking, but that's really not happening, and there will be these remedial things. Hello, we need, we can't say there are going to be uh, ways of taking care of these canisters. They have to be taken care of now. They have to be monitored and they have to have 24 7 radiation monitoring. They have to, we have to take care of these things. They are dangerous. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Thank you for your remarks. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Ms. Seeley, could I ask you just for the, for the minutes, could I ask you, could you define the acronym CIS? Or oh, Consolidated Interim, interim storage. storage. Thank right. you. Thank you. Yeah, I, wait, before you go on, I, I have a comment. Dr. Butner says a remark in okay. response yeah, to Ms. Seeley. The second thing you talk about is directly within our remit. That is, we are, and appropriately are, concerned about and are reviewing the potential for a compromise of the integrity of that facility. Okay, that's with it. It's not only within our remit, it's for sure within our remit. And we're doing it. Outside of our remit is anything having to do with where it might go. We, I mean, you can say anything you want here because it's a public forum, but it's not for us. We, right. that's not, we don't have any concern as a committee with where it might go, if it might go somewhere, or what that might be, or what might happen on the road after that. It's not part of our charter. I'm unhappy that it's not part of market. I'm interested in it. I'm an engineer. I've actually thought a lot about it and I've done some work on it. But it's not part of this committee. So I just want you and I know you know this, but other members of the public may not know. So the other members of the public who are watching or sitting here ought to know that whether that transportation system is safe and whether where it goes, if it goes somewhere, is safe or whether where it goes has political support is an interesting topic that is beyond the remit of the Diablo Canyon Independent Safety Committee. Okay? Understood. Thank you. Mm -hmm.